Alright, today's video, have I got a mystery for you to solve. Do you know how we went down to the Fremantle Jail? Yeah. And it's the most haunted place that we've ever been in, and yeah. we stayed overnight. Run. Run. Okay. Hold on. Why run? I'm not scared of you. Look at them. Now. Yep, told you. Yep, okay, no, time for us to run. Yep, okay, yep, we're yep. out of here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> running. The second most haunted place is the roundhouse. But unfortunately, the roundhouse, we can't go for our night tour yet because James has actually got the flu. And he unfortunately, can't take us for a tour. So I've got a plan today, but I'm going to need your help. What? We are going to go and try and search for the ghost of the cannon at the roundhouse. Who's that? So I can tell you the story? Yes. The whole story. Yes. You sure? Yes. All right. But before we dive into the video, I'd like to introduce ourselves as well as introduce our channel, Solve the Spooky, and what it's about. My name's Rod and I love history. And Sam, my little boy, loves scary movies. Oh. And we've decided to embark on a thrilling adventure to explore haunted locations and delve into their ghostly past. This is creepy. And we've loved every what minute of it. We want to learn how to communicate with spirits and we'd love to take you along for the ride. Thanks for your support and don't forget to watch this video all the way through to the end because it really helps out our channel so we can keep on finding these spooky adventures. So join us on this adventure as we search for the truth and try and better understand the paranormal together. In the mid 1800s, Fremantle was a bustling port town and the roundhouse served as a crucial point for navigation and law enforcement. Among the staff was a gunner responsible for firing the 1pm cannon to signal the correct time to the ships in the harbour. Visitors have reported seeing a small shadowy figure near the cannon and hearing distant laughter of a child or feeling an unexpected chill in the air. For this investigation we've decided to call the ghost of Thomas just to make it easier for my little boy Sam. So the thing is today we have to test whether that is true or false as a mystery because you seem to attract all the kid ghosts. So what I'm thinking is we need to bring something. You know we're going to use our app. We're going to use it EMF, sound, you know, all our normal stuff. But I was thinking if we could take down some toys or something for him to play with, we could then see if he's there and if he wants to play with someone. He may play dominoes, maybe marbles. But what do you think we should leave behind? Do you think we should ask ChatGPT? Sure. Do you want to go up and get um, Foxy? Definitely. All right, and how about I get some dominoes? If you don't know, of course, Foxy is our resident haunted doll. He spent the night in a cemetery and has been doing some really weird things over the last couple of days. Moving things, those. It's not a, doesn't seem to be an evil spirit. You just probably didn't see that fall, but it would just fell from the balcony. It's not a good way to treat a haunted doll by throwing it off the balcony. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Kit, question for you. We're on the hunt for Thomas, the eight-year-old ghost who haunts a cannon down near the roundhouse. And Sammy wanted to know what games he could leave behind for the ghost that the ghost might want to play with so we can prove whether he is true or not. That sounds like an intriguing ghost hunt. For an eight-year-old ghost like Thomas, you could leave behind simple classic games or toys that he might have been familiar with during his time. Maybe try something like marbles, jacks, or a small wooden top. These would have been popular around the 19th century. That way, if anything gets moved or used, it might give you some clues. Do you think dominoes, as in the game, dominoes being left behind will be okay to test Thomas? Leaving dominoes behind for Thomas could be a fun idea. Dominoes are simple and easy to interact with. So if there's any paranormal activity, you might see some of the pieces move or even fall over. Beautiful. Sammy might find it exciting to check if any pieces are shifted overnight. But we only have one no kit. But I think what we can do is we can stand it up and see if it falls over or it moves. Easy. What do you think? That's a great idea. Kids on my side, we'll so we can stand it up. Your indication if Thomas interacts with them. You might also want to record or take photos of the setup before and after to catch any subtle changes. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes with Thomas and the dominoes. Done. Good five. Let's go catch Thomas. We've hit some traffic jam, and it's twelve o'clock. I don't think we're going to make it to the cannon on time for one o'clock. You're not supposed to be stopped on a highway. And unfortunately, it's stopped all the way down there too. Traffic in exactly where we don't want it. 12.40 exactly, we've got 20 minutes to find Tom. 
Thomas and this place is packed. Yeah, we're not going to make it. No, and that's if we find a parking spot. We haven't found one yet. Guess what, Sam? What? We're going to have to come back tomorrow. Why? Because, oh. Dad. How long is the parking though? Ah. Oh. You were about to give up, weren't you? I was just about to give up. And Sammy just found us one and I think it's two hour parking. That's exactly what we need. Give me five, boy. Good, you channeled your luck. All right. It looks like it might be busy, and oh mate, what time is it? Oh, it's 12.52, quick, quick. Oh. We literally have eight minutes. Come on! Yeah. We can make it, Sam. We can make it. So there's a few people going right. Oh, we just missed it. That was the cannon going off. Do you hear that? Yeah. We just missed the cannon. Oh, we just missed it, everyone. Anyway, so right now, about 150 years ago or so, is when Thomas supposedly died. 12.59. It's one. Maybe they did it a bit early. That's maybe what caused Thomas. I mean, remember when Thomas had his accident? Maybe his dad was rushing too. Remember he said, so I told you he was rushing and he didn't see his little boy? Oh, that'd be so sad, Samuel. It's a gold coin donation to enter the roundhouse, but since we've got a private night tour organised for next week, we're holding off until then. But I can tell you, from the outside and even during the day, it's still really good. Creepy. Well, there's the roundhouse. These are the blocks and it's going off. And there's no, can you see any electrical stuff around you? That is going off the Richter scale. Look, all of this is lit up EMF. The whole lot. Let's walk over here. Let's get a baseline. The view of the harbour where the ships were obviously anchored before the cannon went off. So what do we got, Sam? This place is absolutely lit up. And just so everyone knows, there's no power lines. These are just lines holding up the uh, flagpole. How about we go down here and see if we can get a baseline, yeah? And how about we ask some questions? Is anybody here? The one thing we've learned about ghost hunting, just like fishing, is you have to be really patient. But after about 10 minutes, the real fun began. He's over there. He's over there. You mean there? Yeah, he's over there. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go meet him? Yeah, we, I think we should walk over there. That's where they're telling us to go. Thank you. Is it Thomas you talking about? It takes really long. David. David? Hmm. David, I think, was his dad. The gunner. Can't. David and Thomas find each other? Good point. Good question. Tears of blood. Tears of blood? It's probably happened when he died instantly. Imagine being blown up by a cannon. Does po Thomas want to play a game? I like the toys. I like the toys. Maybe he likes dominoes, like he said. Can you follow us, please? Pretty please, pretty pretty please. No here. No here. No here. Not here. Not here. Okay, round the corner here maybe then, Sam. That's the cannon up there, but down here. Do you walk on this path? It's not just me. It's not just him walking on this path. So he's not alone. That's one of the spirits. There's more spirits, isn't there? Huh? Thomas? Do you want to walk down here then and see who we can find? It's down here. This is this back. is back. Go back. That's where he is. Mate, this is a really creepy path. Mate, imagine, seriously, the convicts and the people who walked up this path. And they went to Fremantle Jail and maybe went to the gallows. If you were eight and you were a ghost here, where would you go? Cannon for the view? Yeah. Right. Want to go over there? Alrighty. What do you think? Do you think we should leave the domino somewhere? Leave it and then come back? Where? Where would you be if you were a child ghost? Yeah, that was a cannon that, um, that supposedly got him. So if you were playing near the cannon, you're going to be going, where would you, where would you think you'd put the domino? Where, also where no one else can find it, what do you think? Where would you think you would go, Thomas? 
Depends on you, go find it. What was that? Depends on you, go find it. He's playing hide and seek. I knew he'd be playing some game. So how about we do this? We leave him the domino to find and we try and find him. What if we left it in here, like, you know, upright? Can you leave it upright? We can stand upright. 14. 14. Can you stand upright? So then if he knocks it over, if you know what I mean, hide and seek is going to be, I think I know where he's, I think he's in the whaler's tunnel. We will count to 14. 14. He just said it 14. 14. Okay, count. Okay, one. Two, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at hide and seek. Hey Thomas, to let you know, if you move, that's cheating. <laughs> exactly right. No cheating. So we can't be walking around just being like... Yeah, wondering where you are. Okay, this here is the limestone that the roundhouse is built on. Which one would you hide in? Are you here? Are you at the archaeological? Archaeological. I'm Archeolo in the corner. In the cor he's in the corner. All right, thank you for that. Which corner? This corner. Which corner is he in? This corner. That has to be. Has to be. In the corner? Warmer or colder? Energy. 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 Light. We are getting closer. It's just gotten cooler, mate. Can you feel that? It's just, the temperature's just dropped about 10 degrees. Oh, feel that? Temperature's dropped. Um, so are you here? Do we win? Do we win? It is definitely cooler where you are. Yeah, I think that we won. Can you feel that? Yeah, I think that we won. We've got to win. Go to LiDAR. I think we've found him. The, the, the temperature's dropped. We have found him. Okay, swap. Okay, you, you stand there. I can't see him, so, oh, but there's a glitch right over your face. Told ya. We found him. Yeah, there's a glitch. Hey, mate. There's a glitch over your face. <laughs> there is. Look, there's a glitch. Is mate, you found him. <laughs> we win. Is, yeah. <laughs> it's that fun, mate. We won, we won. Hey, now beat us to the domino. I can't run, I've got a camera, boy. Beat me. <laughs> We're not cheating, Floating. that's exactly right. What's that? Floating. Floating. Oh. He's floating up there. He's cheating. Hey, you're cheating. <laughs> no cheating. We, can, we can't float. <laughs> we that can't. is absolute cheating. <laughs> never played. Uh, I've never played thing with a ghost. Mate. Is, is it gone? Oh. It's now. Set question. Can you feel any wind? That wasn't blown over, was it? No. There's no wind here, just so you know. This is, the wind is all blocked. And it's fallen down. You've so, got to be careful. Yeah, we've got to be careful. We're one all. We found him, and he found the domino. All right, we found him. Okay, second game. Do I play on six then, or? I'm going to leave. He's going to leave? Where? It's time for him to go. When I said, do you want to play hide and seek? He said, I'm oh, going to leave. Yes. So if I'm going to leave, he has to be going to hide. Then do we want to put the domino again somewhere and then go and find him? Yeah. Okay, so take two. How about actually in the wall? But it has to be hidden so no one can see it. Because you, you, know, you don't want someone stealing it. Well, you can't make it unfair. Yeah, no, that's unfair. So what if we did this? Can, can you put it in there, like really in there? Because I haven't got enough hands. Can you get your little hand in there? What do you think? Yeah, no, I can't do that. Don't be afraid. Aww. Thanks for that, mate. What do you I think, think my hair's gonna get stuck. <laughs> He's not supposed to be watching and cheating, you know. No, Dad. He was like, don't be afraid. I don't think like I want to get my hand stuck. Okay, now, that one is wedged in. So let's see if we can win this time. What number do you want us to capture? You're a princess. <laughs> You're a princess, Samuel. Thanks for that. Um, okay, what number? I think he's paying you out. What does that mean? <laughs> Making fun of you, thinking you're going to lose. Aww. Hey, that's me. I said, hey, that's cheating. Thomas. Careful. Careful. Because maybe he's saying careful because another one of the spirits is around. Blonde hair. 
blonde hair. Yes, you do have blonde hair. And you can't walk. <laughs> Is it Thomas back, please? Pretty please. Perish in darkness. Thank you. Perish, oh, I'm a bad person's here. I flash the lights. Oh my god, the same spirit. Please. Flash the lights? Oh, he's going to flash him, is he? Oh, probably at night time he flashes the lights. That's what he means. Should he maybe come back at night time? If Thomas is gone, I highly doubt the domino's gone then. Let's have a look. Is the domino still there? There, it's still there. Anyway, grab it so we don't lose it. Hey, Thomas, if you're here, you lost. <laughs> We, we won that round. We won. Let's go over here. Okay, we're just going to place the domino somewhere, and if you knock it over before we find I'm him, guilty. We're not talking to Thomas, we're talking to a guilty convict. Are you serious right now, Bob? Guilty of what? For what? What? I feel like cold there. Mm. The Hello there. Oh. Hello. Is it is it Thomas back? I don't think so. Hopefully it is. I was just thinking about leaving the domino just over there because he said he's going to make the lights flicker. Remember? Hmm. So if we left it over there, somewhere over there, let's have a look. Keep going. I'm thinking, Sam. I'm thinking. Yeah. See if he takes it. What do you think? All right. So Sam, this is, this is where he died, right here. So if he's gonna come back tonight and flash the lights, hopefully he'll see it. It was an accident, mate. If it's true, remember we're here to work out whether it's true or not. All right, buddy, well, let's get home and we will uh, come back tonight. Tell Thomas that we said goodbye. Um, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. But we've left him a domino. And tell him to let you know, don't cheat. I must admit, I did not think I'd be playing hide and seek with the ghost, buddy. Do you believe the legend of Thomas dying by the cannon is right or not? Right. It feels that way, doesn't it? Yeah, because he literally wants to play hide and seek. Correct. The only problem is, is he didn't mention his name. That's the only problem. They say that ghosts can speak through technology. They say, you know, they can react to EMF um, and those type of things. So when it comes down to those things, when you think about it, if they can talk through it, wouldn't you? Yeah. People say that um, a lot of spirits are only spirits and they're attached here because they have unfinished business. And obviously little Thomas has unfinished business because he didn't finish playing his game. He didn't finish playing as a child. And when you think about it, if you were a child who was playing hide and seek and something happened to you, wouldn't you want to keep playing with kids? If he flashes the light tonight, or he moves that domino, confirmed. See you in two. All right, mate. Time to go check if the domino's gone. What do you think's gonna happen? Light's gonna flicker. You think the light's gonna flicker? And the domino's not gone. I think the domino's there and I think the lights are fine. Right, that's the creepy house at night. Let's go see the creepy cannon at night. All right, Sam, go for it, buddy. Is it? Is it there? It's gone. Where the hell did it go? Where's it gone? Where, where, like, actually, where's it gone? Where's it gone? We're not joking. Or, no, we're not it joking gone? around. Like, where is it? Did somebody steal it or what? He's taken it. I was sure it was going to be here. He touched it before. He moved it before. I sure it's going to be. Here. Has it fallen down? I don't have. Fallen down? No, because there's. Look, we placed it there. I know if, we placed it there. If it fell and down, because we it actually... would be there. Man, Thomas took it. It's not down the edges. Not down there. Thomas, you won. <laughs> uh, okay. I am creeped out now. So. I am. So not, I'm not going near that again. <laughs> so. Thanks for having us, Thomas. Um, 
All right. Um, so is it proven or disproven? Proven. Proven? <laughs> You're correct. Well, Dad and Sam won. Thomas the ghost, two. <laughs> He's winning. Of course he hid it in there. He could have hidden it in there. No, he had to. All right, well, we're going to have to see if we can find it. Rev. Next time. Thomas, see you next week. And we'll try and even up the score. <laughs> Let's try go, to. buddy. Try to. I can't believe he took the domino. That was scary. I hope he's hidden it in the house so I can find it. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, that's it first. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Let us know if we missed anything. Your comments and feedback will help us uncover the truth about the paranormal. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested, how about you go ahead and watch another one of the videos listed here. Oh, that wasn't blown over, was it? No. The wind is all blocked. This is really creepy. <laughs>